Here's the last step on installing a WordPress blog on your website. Part 3 is the WordPress actual installation. and This is actually the easiest part of the whole procedure. Simply use any internet browser. Open your browser, Internet Explorer, Mozilla, or Firefox, and go to your blog's installation PHP page. To find that, if WordPress is all that's on your website, in other words, you rename the installed folder public underscore HTML, then you're going to go to www.yoursitename.com slash wp-admin slash install.php. If you added WordPress to an existing site and it's in a folder of any other name, uh, whatever your blog's called, say it's blog, then you're going to go to yourwebsite.com slash blog slash wp-admin slash install.php. You can pause the video to write those down if you'd like. Once you go there, you'll be walked through the rest of the installation by the WordPress install program. You'll need to enter the title of your blog and a valid email address, and you're done. Your blog is installed. Make sure you write down the password it generates for you before you go on. Again, make sure before you proceed, you write down that password. You'll need it in order to log in the first time. Your first login will be with the username admin and the password that it generated for you. Once you've logged in the first time, you can edit the password, your blog's name, and add users, etc. from the control panel. Before you start blogging, you will need to add one line of text to the blog's HT access file from your host jacker control panel. Uh, this is going to uh, make the blog actually work and not appear as a series of files. First, log into your control panel at hostjacker.com using your username and password for it. When you log in, you'll see um, a list of different uh, site management features. You want to click on File Manager. That's the second one down on the left in this screenshot. That's going to open up a list of all of the uh, websites you have hosted with HostJacker. Uh, in this one, the web hosting review blog we're going to take a look at is hosted at CheapProWebsite.com. So you'd click on that name in order to open it. It'll bring up the list of all the files on your site. The web hosting review blog file on this one is the top one. So you'd click on whatever your blog's name was in order to open that file as well. And you actually click on the name. If WordPress is your blog, that's the only thing on your website, remember you'll open the public underscore HTML folder. Once that's opened, you want to look for a file called HT Access. That's the fourth one down on this list and you want to look for the options to the right of that you want the last one on the right the one that looks like a little pad with a pencil and you want to click on it it'll give you three options at that point as to how you want to open the file for editing you want to pick open with a plain text editor that's the second one down in the list that'll actually open up a file that looks sort of like a notepad file Yours may not look exactly like this, but it will have some information. You don't want to remove or touch anything that's on there, but you won't have the last line in this file where it says directory index space index.php. That's the line you want to add to the file at the very bottom. Directory index with the D and the I capitalized, all one word, space index.php. Then save the file. You can go to cheaprowebsite.com slash web hosting review for more information. Uh, you'll get the exact uh, format for the uh, links that you need to use to access your install PHP page and the exact text you can copy and paste into the last line of your HT access file if you'd like. Now I've received a question or two about how to add more themes and plugins to your blog. The WordPress um, standard edition only comes with a couple of themes. We'll talk about that next time um, and show you the free uh, SEO video plugin pack you can use.